Hi guys, Popmaster here, and today I'm going to be showing off all of my November 2018 Funko Pops. So let's get started. Alright guys, so for this month I have a bunch of awesome pops here. Pretty much all the ones I've gone for this month have come from my birthday, which is actually on the 13th of this month. Um, my Black Friday hunt or the um, GameStop mystery boxes. So. I do have one that's still um, in transit, but I'm not going to have time to film later this week when it's going to come. It's probably going to come before December starts, but I'm just not going to have time to film. And that is the Crunchberry Beast from Captain Crunch, like from San Diego Comic Con this year. So I'll put, I'll put a picture up here if you guys don't know what it is, so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, just so that you know, guys, I do, I, that one is coming, basically. So let's get started with some ones from Mystery Box. So. If you guys don't know, a while ago, Toy Say had a really expensive mystery box. It was five, $500, which is crazy. I've never seen a mystery box priced that high before. And you got, I think it was, wait, how many? So it's one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, five pops, and you're guaranteed a value of uh, $250 or more. And I completely knocked it out of the park with this box. So the first one I got, this is an instant grail. Probably most, definitely the most valuable pop in my collection. It is the... San Diego Comic Con 2016 at that exclusive limited to a thousand pieces and it's a glow in the dark hat hat box ghost. And you guys can see I do have it in a pop stack, so it, the box isn't it damaged. And even though I am an out of box collector, I just want to keep this one in box just because how how valuable it is. Yeah, this one looks really cool, and they have some other ones here. And here's the side of them there. And then on the back they show some of the other ones from the set, and that would be. Phineas, Ezra, Gus, and then the Hatbox Ghost. So this is a really awesome one. It's I think it was like over four hundred dollars worth right now. So I was really excited to get that one. I also got a couple of Marvel ones from that box. And this one, first one here is a Hot Topic exclusive Iron Man Unmasked. And even though I don't collect the Marvel too much, this is still a really cool one because I, I like how they have the mask up, so you can actually see his face, but you can still see the mask there. So that's a really cool detail. Otherwise, Pop does look pretty good. So there's the back. I already took it out of the box, so I don't have the box to show you guys. Yeah, I mean, cool character. Don't really collect Marvel too much, but yeah. Another one I got was a San Diego Comic Con 2016 ex exclusive, and this one was Doctor Strange. And you guys can see he has a little orb there in his hand. He, he looks really cool as well with this. Um, I'll show you the back with his cape. And yeah, the, both of these Marvel ones are bobbleheads because of a, I think it's a licensing issue. Same with Star Wars ones. They can't create, I guess, figures that have to be bobbleheads. So yeah, there's Doctor Strange. Again, don't really follow, Mar follow Marvel too much. So, I mean, it's fine. Another one I got from that box was J the Jawa from Star Wars. I was actually really excited for this one because I do, I do collect Star Wars. And this was one that I really wanted for my collection. And the eyes on this one look a lot different than a regular pop. They actually kind of they have these orange little beads here instead of just the black, uh, the black uh, regular eyes for most pops. And he has his little stun gun there, which looks pretty cool as well. And if you're wondering, this is the one that has the black box, not the rare blue box, in case you guys are wondering. The final one from this box was from, from San Diego Comic-Con 2017, and this one is the glow-in-the-dark tick here. Again, this is another character I'm not really too familiar with. I might sell some of these ones in the future. But yeah, this is another really awesome one to have. And yeah, it's... I don't really know what to say. Just It's just the tick. Um, I don't know. But yeah, that's all five. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, five I got from that box. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. Sorry, one more. Um, One more I got was the uh, Chase Xander from Buffy the the Vampire Slayer. It's, I think it was the 20-year 20, yeah, 20 anniversary or something. It was on the back, it says 20 years of slang. And you can also see some other ones they have. And this difference with this one is that he has an eye patch over his eye. So if, you're, if you guys watch this show, you probably understand what this is from. But again, this is another one where I don't really, I don't know anything about this show at all. So it's, I don't know, kind of not something that I really want. Anyway, uh, moving on, we have one I got from a, a what's it? Yeah, a Poptopia mystery box. This is a ten dollar one where they they just give you one random pop uh, instead of the thirty dollar one where they give you two. And I got Chase Remy.
from Rat Rat Ratatouille Ratatouille. Yeah, Ratatouille. Yep. So th this is before. I guess this one came out before they did. They made the flock chase sticker. So this one just has the normal chase sticker. And the, yeah, the chase. This one is that it's flocked, and the regular one is not. And there's the side. And there's the back. And the other ones in the set are Emil and Alfredo Linguini. Uh, I have not seen this movie in a long time, but I remember, from what I remember, it was a pretty good movie. So this is a cool one to have, I guess. All right, so everything else I have right here is from Black Friday. So let's start with um, some regular pops I got. I showed I showed all these off in my haul, so you guys can check that out. Well, not haul. I didn't make a haul. I mean the hunt video. So I might link. I'll probably link that in the description below. But the first one I have here is Hot Topic Girl from Hot Topic, obviously. And this one was really awesome. I was really excited when they first unveiled it uh, a month or two ago for LA Comic Con because I wasn't. Um, I have not been able to get my hands on the Hot Topic guy that came out, and I'm pretty. And for this one, this one's actually based off of a real Hot Topic employee. I, bl I believe her name is Amanda, so that's pretty cool. I don't know why they chose her over any other employee, but it's kind of cool. It looks pretty cool, um, nonetheless. They're really awesome pop to have. They have really good details on the arms there, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, oh, another one here is the, uh, this is a one from Stranger Things, and this one is Mike in Snowball Dance. This one, this one was another, another one I was really excited to get because I already had Dustin with Snowball Dance, so I was kind of ready for them to make the other characters with the Snowball Dance outfits. And I think this is the first, I guess, original variant of Mike we got in a long time besides the Ghostbuster one, so I'm really happy they made it a different one of him, not just the regular one they made for season one. He looks really sharp in this outfit here. So, yeah, there he is. And I also had... Where'd she go? Um, Eleven in Snowball Dance. And, yeah, she looks really cool as well. They've made so many variants of Eleven, but this honestly has to be my favorite. They even put a little hairpin there, which looks really cool as well. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um... Yeah, here is Eleven in Snowball Dance. She, again, looks really cool. They did a great job with the hair in the back. And finally, we have a one, another one from Hot Topic. This one is Dustin in Hockey Gear, a Hot Topic exclusive. Again, they did a really good job with the details on this one. Um, the whole chest pad and the leg pads are all textured, and I like I, I like the detail on his uh, kitchen glove and the hockey mask. It looks really good in the hockey stick. You see all the straps on the back there. A really awesome pop. I'm really grateful this one didn't sell out because this is the first Hot Topic uh, Stranger Things pop I've been able to get before they've sold out. Actually, no, I got the Steve um, upside down one, but okay, this is the yeah, second one, I mean, sorry. Um, another thing from Black Friday was the, um, this is a common release. It's the Eleven and Demogorgon TV moment. Um, this is sort of like the movie moments, but not movie moments, but it's TV. And this one features the Demogorgon here and Eleven. I'll show you guys that view here. This is a really cool one. This is probably, um, I wish I could turn her head. No, um, the head on head on Eleven is actually not movable. So, yeah, so this is from the end of season one where she's about to sort of kill the Demogorgon and send, send it back to upside down. And we, I don't know if you guys can see, but her eyes are um, really, I guess, blood, not bloodshot, but just... You know how her eyes get what weird when she uses her powers, and yeah, she has her hands stretched out, and her ears and her nose are bloody. Yeah, right there. So you can ask and kind of tell she's using a lot of her powers, sort of like the Eleven Elevated Pop that came out. But yeah, looking at the Demogorgon, you can see on the edge here, he's sort of getting a little weakened. He's almost getting cracked. I guess cracked about to sort of disappear. And the detail that they have when he sort of slammed into the board right here looks really good as well. And they also have a little clock up there. And it shows about 10 at night. If you, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's kind of a cool detail. Probably because this episode took took place really late in the evening. And there's also a little um, loudspeaker up here too, which makes it look really like a school. And they also have little power outlets down here. And it's kind of these small details that really count on these movie moments. So there's this one. I also have a few from uh, Black Friday, from the Black Friday box. 
Um, I'll leave a, um, I'll, again, I'll leave a link to the video where I got this, but I think I showed off, I, I wanted five boxes and I was, um, at my store, they had six lined up behind the counter. So I was worried that I was going to get someone else was going to buy those six. I thought those were, were the last six in the whole store. And I was worried. I, I was really far behind in line when I got there and I was just really worried that someone was going to take them, but they were still there. And I, and then when I got to the front and the woman asked what I wanted, I wanted, I told her five boxes and she actually went back to the back, their back room and they got me a whole fresh like cardboard box of boxes. Like, you know, the box where it says five pieces per case and it has five mystery boxes. So she got me one of those. And since because of that, I, I got a chase, I guarantee chase was one out of five and there's five boxes. No, no one has tampered with any of them. And I was also able to get one ver one of each variant, so I got really lucky that way too, because I've seen a lot of people who have gotten duplicates, and I have not had that problem, fortunately. So thanks, thanks to that woman at GameStop who did that. Love it. Um, first one I have here is Monterey Jack from Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Um, this is a really cool one. I, I like how he has the cheese in his hand, and I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be up here, if it's supposed to be goggles or something else, and I think he's wearing... I'm, I'm really, is that a hat? Yeah, it might be a hat. Um, see, he has a little. Um, I think he's supposed. To, yeah, a mouse. He has his cheese there. And he has a little blue sweater and a gray coat. So this one looks pretty cool. I haven't seen too many of these cartoons. These are fun, but I just really wanted to get some of these boxes. So yeah, there's Monterey Jack. Oh, whoop, there he is here. Another one I have is Wildcat from Tailspin, and I ca I do kind of recognize this character a little bit. I think he's actually he was actually um if you guys don't know blue um blue has an airplane in the show and i think he's the mechanic or something that's why he has a wrench a mechanic for blue's plane so he has a wrench there and then he has a little mechanic jumpsuit with little buttons in the back and you see his tail popping out and something you can't actually see on the pop is all his hair back here on the pop art as well and he has a little ponytail as well a little tail sticking out so yeah, you can only see this this part. You can't see any of the part of the back. So I want to show you guys that. I also was able to get Megavolt from Darkwing Duck. Another really awesome one. I've heard this is one that he's one of the more uh, powerful villains in the show. Again, I have not seen this one too much. This one has some really awesome details like the light bulb he's holding in his hand there. And these goggles look really cool. I, I, you, know, you can't feel the eyes. It's just, you know, I guess glass. This top of him actually looks like something you plug into the wall, like a you know a charger, and then his back looks like um, his back, his back is sort of like a battery. So that that's really cool, and he's wearing this little yellow suit, a really cool pop, and I like the hair back there as well. Another one we have is Angela from Gargoyles. Again, this is a show I'm not too familiar with, and I just don't really want to um, collect another line of these. I, I do like some some things on this pop. I like the little hands that come out of her wings here. There's a lot, she also has hands down here. And the little horns that come out there. And I'll show you guys the back. The hair is also really detailed. And there's a little tail sticking out. Um, the setting does not stand too well, so you do kind of need to use the figure stand that comes with it. So, yeah, a cool pop nonetheless. Finally, we have the chase I pulled from the GameStop boxes, and that is... Chase Max from Goof Troop. This show, I actually have seen some episodes. Um, and as you can see, there's um, I love the back of this box as well. And there you see Goofy was Max skateboard, and there's Max right there. Max is Goofy's son. And yeah, the chase of this one is that instead of holding his hand out there, he actually has a skateboard in his hand. And yeah, this is a really cool one. Limited edition Chase sticker. Really, I was really excited to pull a Chase in this box. Yeah, um, this has been an episode of Pop Master. Th um, me going over all the pops I got from November 2018. In total, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. There's one more on the way. Pretty solid month. And next month, I th it's going to be fairly slow because I do have a lot coming for Christmas. It's going to be pretty much all in that one day, so I'm just not trying not to buy too many before Christmas. Might buy a few after, but probably not. No, probably not going to be coming until January. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.